After the devastating shooting at a high school in Parkland, Florida, people across the nation are rightfully demanding more than thoughts and prayers to prevent future mass shootings. At our town hall last weekend, we heard from so many people concerned over what we're doing to keep our kids and community safe. I'm Representative Tana Sen of the 41st Legislative District, and this week I want to talk about preventing gun violence. I'm happy to share that last week we took up and passed Senate Bill 5992 on the House floor, banning the manufacture and sale of bump fire stocks. This bill is a small but enormously important step toward protecting our communities from gun violence. I was honored and humbled to speak on the House floor in support of the bill. It was an emotional moment as I read the 58 names of the victims from the mass shooting in Las Vegas last fall, reminding us all of the destructive potential of bump stocks. I'm glad to say the bill passed the House with bipartisan support and is heading back to the Senate for concurrence before going to the governor for his consideration. We've also made progress on other legislation to help prevent gun violence, such as Senate Bill 5553 and House Bill 2519. The first bill allows someone to voluntarily waive his or her right to a firearm. This would reduce the risk of harm for people in crisis who are struggling with suicidal thoughts. When people are in a crisis, having access to firearms significantly increases the risk of harm and this bill will allow people to choose to protect themselves. This bill was passed on a unanimous vote out of the Senate and passed out of the House on a strong bipartisan vote last week as well. House Bill 2519 makes sure that if your license is surrendered or impounded by law enforcement, there's now gonna be a hold before returning it, allowing for a check to make sure you are allowed to carry a concealed weapon. House Bill 2519 passed out of the House and is now waiting for action in the Senate. My bill, House Bill 1483, would give the Washington State Patrol the option to destroy guns forfeited as a result of criminal activity. Unfortunately, it's not moving at this time, but it is encouraging to see so much attention on the issue for media outlets such as the Seattle Times and the Associated Press. Despite the lack of movement right now, I will not stop fighting for it. We have begun to take the first steps and each step we can take will put us farther down the path toward keeping our families and communities safe from gun violence. As a mom and as a legislator, please know that I will not stop fighting to make sure our kids and our communities are safe from gun violence. Thank you for tuning in and look for more legislative updates coming soon.